Right, today I'm going to show you how to dye cashmere. We um, use dye quite a bit um, for cashmere that has um, stubborn stains in it. It's surprising how well the dye covers any marks and makes an otherwise unusable piece of cashmere usable. So before you start, you'll need um, some gloves, some vinegar, some washing up liquid, and whatever dye you're using. Um, I'm using some RIP dye today in a bottle because it's a decent quantity of dye and will dye about three jumpers for us. Now I've pre-filled my bowl with tepid water. Um, you need the water as hot as the cashmere will bear, but clearly not too hot so that you shrink it. You don't want to damage it, so it's tepid. And you need to pre-wash, um, well, sort of rinse and spin actually, I've done, because our, our jumpers are already washed. And I've got three jumpers of different colours. I thought it might be handy to show you the different results that we get from three. Um, they'll all be slightly different because they're starting out from different as different colours. And I've chosen a, a wine colour, um, quite a strong colour. Um, the, the strength of colour will depend on how much water you put in, how much dye you put in, um, and how many items you're dyeing. So you can experiment with that. Um, we're fairly flexible, but we're not trying to achieve a very specific colour. We're just trying to make some jumpers that aren't usable at the moment um, more usable. So I'm going to put the gloves on. You will stain your hands if you don't use gloves. Now you need a little bit of a splash of um, washing up liquid in. That's what you need that for. Now lots of dyes will talk about salt. Now salt is what you need for linens and cottons. If you're dyeing wool or cashmere, it's a cup of um, vinegar you need to put in. I'm going for the slightly guess a cup approach, but I don't think it needs to be um, a scientific sort of exact quantity. It's all a little bit, um, you know, open to interpretation because the colour will depend on what your proportions are. Now the only thing my hottest tip for dyeing cashmere is don't underestimate how much you need to stir it both before you put the jumpers in. I'm going to put the dye in now. Fabulous colour. Be very, very careful because if you splash this on your clothes or furnishings or anything like that, you'll be cross with yourself. A bit awkward to get them open, so I've just snipped it with a knife. There we are. In it goes. Just be really careful not to get any sort of a splash. I'm just going to rinse the bottle out, get the last bit of dye out. Now I have done this quite a few times and despite that I've made some fairly basic errors and the most common error I make is to rush it because it takes a little while. As soon as the um, cashmere goes in, it sort of grips to the dye or the dye grips to it. And if you've got it in streaks because you haven't stirred the dye and the vinegar in enough, you're in bother. You'll get streaks in the jumper and basically you've had it. it, it um, for us, it means that we end up cutting, cutting them up and making them into accessories. But for you, it will probably mean that the jumpers had it. So just be really, really careful. I'm actually going to sit and stir here for about three minutes. I won't make you watch though. Right, I am going to put, put the jumpers in one by one and stir really, really well. You've got to keep agitating it in those first um, few minutes. In fact, um, you can't really take your eye off it all the way through. It needs a, it's stirring. I haven't actually looked at the bottle, but I normally stir for about 15 to 20 minutes non-stop and then stir every couple of minutes after that. So here goes, we've got a pale pink one going in first. As I mentioned, they're all damp already. Straight in and just keep it going, keep it moving immediately. Fabulous colour. There we are, make sure it all gets really, really wet before you put the next one in, just keep it moving. Nothing more disappointing than thinking you've done a good dyeing job and then discovering. In fact, it's got a streak down the arm or the back. That's that one on its way. Looks a good colour actually. Less strong than I thought it would be. I thought it might be a bit darker than that. Right, 
and to put the next one in. Didn't actually show you where the marks are, but um, let me see if I can, ah, can you see? It's right on the front. We've got a stain, a very fa faint stain, but it's a stain nonetheless. And since we're actually selling cashmere, we can't sell things with stains on. Okay, so number two going in. It'll be a slightly different colour at the end because it's cream to start with instead of pale pink. Give that a good old stir around, keep it all going. You can already see the difference between the two. I had a very, very successful dyeing experience with some bright orange dye. It just worked brilliantly. We've got a really, really vibrant colour at the end and we've used those items for um, for accessories. They're great, absolutely great. I think also if you've got a jumper, you know, we all have mistake buys. If you've, if you've bought one and it's just not a colour that you feel good in or that you feel suits you, give it a go. Give the dyeing a go. Um, it is much simpler than, than you think. So far I haven't discovered a way of dyeing cashmere in the machine. I do dye, um, regularly dye jeans and trousers that fade. Um, there are some good ones for the machine to do that. I, it, I'd really recommend it to you. I mean, the machine dyes for jeans are brilliant and it gives you several, you know, gives that your jeans a complete new lease of life and keeps them going for longer. You know, it's got to be a good thing. But I, I've, I do it regularly. There we are, so that's number two stirred in. Now, I don't know what's going to happen to the turquoise one when mixed with the wine coloured dye, but we will find out at the end. Actually, do you know what? I'm not sure I'm going to go for it with the turquoise because it's zipped and the zip won't dye. Don't know whether a turquoise zip on a wine red jumper is going to look great. So I might just stick to the two and we'll think of something else. I'll probably just go a shade darker with that one. Oh, too late, I've got dye on it, let's go for it. <laughs> Caught it with my finger, we're off. It may be a cut up at the end, it may be cut up for accessories if it's not going to work as a jersey. There we go, get it all in. Oopsie, dear me, I'm a bit, um, I hope I haven't splashed my clothes. Wouldn't be the first time if I have. There we are. And really, it's as simple as that. <laughs> I'm going to, um, we'll fast forward this bit for you because I have to sit here and stir for the best part of half an hour. Um, and although it is um, a little bit tedious, pop the radio on while you're doing it. Don't cut corners. Believe you me, if there's a corner to cut, I've tried it. And with this, I've tried and failed um, several times over because I've taken my eye off the ball or thought, well, surely you don't need to stir it for that long. But you do, I'm afraid. So see you in a little while. So I've been stir stirring consistently for 30 minutes. And um, I'm now going to um, squeeze them out. You need to rinse them in cold water and then wash them as normal with an old towel. I'm not quite sure of the relevance of the old towel, but I think it probably catches, um, you know, sort of loose dye in the machine. Um, one thing I wanted to say too was make sure you get the correct dye. Um, it's a different recipe if it's for a natural fibre rather than a synthetic one. So I've got the dye that washes wool, cotton and linen. Um, so that's just a point to make. Um, and there was something else I was going to say. What was that? I can't remember. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, because you're uh, agitating, the fibres will get fluffed up, up, up a bit. So there will be a slight difference in the appearance of your cashmere at the end. It will be a slightly fluffier um, cashmere than when it went in. Right. Now I'm going to have to get my hands into this. Basically... Squeeze them out as much as you can. Because the idea is to rinse them now until the water runs clear. So you'll have a better, it'll be easier to do if you've actually squeezed them out as much as possible. Um, really, really careful not to splash it. I'm a little bit slapdash sometimes. I've noticed I've managed to get it up the wall just from stirring. There we are. You'll see the racks to my right. That's how we dry our cashmere. 
a lot of people, um, if I was doing it at home, I'd sort of hang it over the banisters or or on a towel on a spare bed. But um, in this environment, you know, we wash about, you know, two or three hundred jumpers a week um, and we dry them on these racks with a dehumidifier. So um, it's quick and effective that way. So I will be back and show you the results. Um, we're going to wash them and dry them and you can see how they look at the end. So there we are. I've washed them as usual in the machine um, at 30. I don't know if you can tell, they're sl all slightly different colours because they started out different colours. I'm going to hang them up to dry and I will show you um, when they're dry um, what they look like. So that's it. We've um, done the dyeing, we've pressed the jerseys. We're really pleased with the result. Um, no streaking because I stirred for, for a good half an hour. You can see that they, they, it's not materially different, even though they started out different colours. But we like the shade, it, it's gone. And actually it's not that representative of what was on the bottle of the dye. So do bear that in mind yourselves if you're having a go at dyeing. And the most important thing for us is that it's completely covered any, any marks. I don't know, it's sort of if, as if by magic, it seems to cover the um, stains. Um, so they're now um, really usable and saleable um, jumpers. One thing to remind you is I forgot that this had a zip and it's not, um, it's made of polyester so it didn't dye. So bear that in mind, if you've got any embellishments, um, it won't dye in the same way. So we, we had, I've forgotten that yesterday. And that is it. Um, but if you are interested in cashmere care, we've got, a, um, do subscribe to this channel. We um, upload videos regularly talking about care and repair of cashmere knitwear. Mm -hmm.